Hello guys, here's Mark the Geek. In this video, I'm bringing you a Android app. It's called Badass Battery Monitor. <laughs> a badass name, right? <laughs> For a battery monitor. So what it is is a uh, is a very good app that lets you track the battery usage of your phone. And like you can see, once the app is activated, um, you're gonna see up here a very nice meter it's a circle meter which is blue right now when it's um over like 75 percent then it turns to green then it turns to yellow then it turns to red uh, pretty cool i like the way it changes color it looks very nice um also when you in a in a no notification um you can also see very nice information right there it looks very nice look at that battery status 81 percent time left it, it tells me that I have 15 hours with 56 minutes average and you so far seven hours so far I, I have used that's pretty cool uh, when you click on the app um, wait a second this is how the app looks a number 50 when you click on the app um, here you can see the same information so you say battery left around of average of 15 hours and 58 um last three minutes of nine hours um talk time approximately five hours um battery usage so far 18 percent and um you've been using the battery for five hours and 39 minutes that's pretty cool i like the way everything is well detailed um, here you can see what's consuming power the most. Um, let's say on the screen it's consuming only 13%. If you click on that, you can see some more information. That's very nice. That's very cool. Uh, you could also from here, you could go ahead and go to display settings if you want to change the settings. That's pretty cool. Um, here you can also share. If you want to share your your battery information battery life if you want to brag about your battery life whatever um, you could tweet it you could email it I think you can also Facebook no I don't see no Facebook here but yeah you could you could um, choose different options to share it that's pretty cool um, here you can refresh the battery okay so here app soccer app soccer here you can see a breakdown of all the apps what percentage of power they're being used like you can see right here the most I'm using is the kernel It's consuming 72 percent and if you click on that you're gonna be able to see different you can see the way everything's consuming based on different categories like view CPU minutes per used you can use it by minutes look at that that's cool. Kernel, one hour, nine minutes. That's pretty, sh that's pretty cool. And there's a whole bunch of options here. That's pretty cool. There's a whole bunch of options there. Um, let's go back. If you go to settings, uh, you have an option here for charts. When you choose charts, this is pretty cool. You put it in landscape mode. In this blue bar right here in the top, you're going to see the battery. Uh, this charging when it's charging it will you will see the battery going green and going up and here you can see from the last moment it was unplugged it was at 9 a.m. Um, this yellow bar this yellow line right here they see going up and down up and down up and down until this time it's around it's gonna be around 2 30 right here um, this right here is the temperature like you, like you can see right there the temperature is selected and here battery temperature so that's the way the battery temperature has been acting that's pretty nice info right there that's pretty cool and you could change to signal and this is how my signal has been performing since 9 a.m. in the morning boom boom has been going up down 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 very cool here you can see in this part over here it changes too. See phone signal, high, medium, low. That's pretty nice. And here when you choose other, you're gonna see a whole bunch of features 
that's been used on different time during the whole day like right now active has been active all these yellow lines that you see lines and dots that means that the phone was active all those times the screen uh, that all those yellow dots and lines in concurrence with the time that means that the screen was used all those times uh, the Wi-Fi as you can see right here Wi-Fi was on all the way up to almost 12 p.m. and then it was turned off boom 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 and in call you got one two three calls that's pretty cool that's a pretty nice feature to see if you were sleeping and there was a call right here you say hey wait a second somebody was using my phone when I was sleeping so with this chart you can actually see it was used once two three in call GPS nothing there was no GPS used that's pretty, pretty nice information right there I love it okay so let's go back and here you could change preferences and you can change the battery icon theme you could theme the icon right there I actually like the circle you could choose here default you could change this to brown I don't know but I don't like that um, you could change it to traditional look at that um, you could change it to default it looks just like the like the default battery that you have uh, no, nope, I don't want that. And you could download more themes. Uh, I'd rather use the default. Like I said, I like that circle. I like the blue color. It looks very nice, and it's gonna look very nice. It looks very nice in ice cream sandwiches, um, um, themes and firmware. This is a Blazor ROM. That's why my my icons and letters look blue. Is more like a ice cream sandwich theme. And here, if you choose the uncheck that you could dis uncheck, um, disappear the icon right there but if you do that you also lose the not notification information here too so I actually like to leave it on and it actually has a widget like you see transparent widget let me cho choose transparent um, let me go to widgets when you go to widgets let me look for the widget Oh, I think I passed it right. Huh. Wait, I don't see the widget. No, I don't see the widget. Okay, I don't know what happened, but I was using the widget before. So, hmm. I can't see the widget. Okay, but there is a widget. I don't know why it's not there right now, but there is a widget and what it does, it, it looks just like this. It's just a, a circle with a 50. And if you wanna make it look like this, transparent, it'll look like that. If you don't choose that, it will look like a, a gray square with the 50 with the meter in it. But I rather use a transparent. Okay, so let's go back. And here, what I like about this um, battery monitor too, that you could choose to notify you when the charge is complete. When the charge is complete, you could choose a ringtone, whatever, any ringtone, I choose that. And when the charge is complete, it will actually notify you that the battery is complete. That's good if you don't like to have the phone on charger while it's already charged. That's a pretty cool feature. I like that feature because I don't like to leave my phone charging when it doesn't need to be charging. Uh, low battery, you can also get another notification and you could choose notifications for your battery low. And so on, so on. Monitor on device startup. You can uncheck it for every time you turn it off and on with the phone, it will automatically start. You could view statistics since last unplugged, full charge, uh, calculate time by last five minutes, like 15 minutes. It's a, I'm telling you, this is, I like this. I like, and there's two versions. There's a free version, like this one is, you, like you can see, there's a lot to it. There's a lot that you get for free. And, but here it says allow anonymous usage. What it does, it sends like error messages and all that to the developers so they can improve your um, the app. If you want to disable that, you would actually have to buy the pro version. 
the pro version i don't know how much it is i think it's like two bucks or something like that i'll leave it in the description so you guys can see it and it's i'm telling you it's a very good it's a very no thank you it's a very good good battery mount monitor it's full with information and it looks very cool too look at that that looks very nice and I, I i doubt that you're not gonna like this app and it's it's i've been using it for two days already and it's very precise that's what i like it too there's a lot of them out there that are not that precise but this one is very very good and i like it and it doesn't actually consume battery life so guys um this is my view on badass battery monitor till next time